I'm here with Jim Grosh, CBRE's Chief Financial Officer and in one of his previous lives, former Chief Investment Officer. CBRE is a Fortune 500 company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So Jim, welcome. Thank you, Askin. First question. By being involved in over $250 billion in real estate transactions per year worldwide and overseeing AUM in excess of $85 billion, you definitely have a great view into global capital flows in real estate. Could you talk about what was going on 12 months ago versus what you expect to see in 2016? Oscar, when we surveyed our clients, our investor clients, about a year ago, they told us that they expected to invest more in real estate in 2015 than they had in 2014. We gave guidance on, on our earnings calls at the beginning of 2015, suggesting we thought investment volumes would be up in the high single digits. At the end of the third quarter, we upped that guidance to a range of 10 to 15 percent for the year. It, um, as, we, as I look forward to 2016, clearly what we're seeing in the markets in, in recent days and weeks introduces more risk and the probability of more volatility and more choppiness, um, not only within periods but between regions. But for 2016, we expect volumes to increase over 15, although at a slower pace. And in the, we expect volumes to, be, to increase in the Americas and in EMEA, but probably come down in Asia Pacific. As far as some of uh, the capital impacts on capital flow, so even though we think volumes overall will slow down in Asia Pacific, we expect to see a lot of growth in capital coming out of Japan, as an example. The decline in oil prices is impacting flows of capital. We are seeing that impact Middle Eastern investors in particular, but it's wildly uh, varied from investor to investor. Already a couple of our a couple of very large sovereign wealth funds have told us they're expecting to still increase their investment in real estate outside of their markets. And we're seeing a significant flow of private capital out of markets that are heavily oil dependent. 